Okay, we're going to go over Unit 1, Lesson 2, Section 1, Exercise 11. We're going to go over number 1, 9, 13, and 20. The instructions say, number 1, tell us what forms these are, and number 2, give the English meaning. So we're going to look at number 1, and number 1 gives us the word deus. And we know that the stem is de, so us is our ending. And what we're going to do is we're going to look in our grammar book at number 34, grammar rule number 34. We're going to, looking at the masculine noun of the second declension. And we see that we have our forms right here, which are our endings. And we're going to look for the us ending. And we see that us only shows up one time. That is the nominative singular. So we're going to go ahead and write nominative singular. So that is what form these are in, that deus is in. Now we're going to look at what the meaning is. So if we look right here, this is using the example of servus, and it says the meaning is the slave. If it's in the subject form, you would say the slave. So for deus, we would say the god. It could also be in the form of just plain god. All right, number nine gives us Christiani, and Christiani has the stem of Christian, and our ending is long I. So we're going to look to our grammar, number 34 again, and we're going to go down the line, and we see that it is found two places, the long I. We see the long I here in the genitive singular, so we'll write genitive singular, and we also see it right here in the nominative plural. So in the genitive singular, the long I ending would be of the slave or the slaves with the possessive apostrophe S. So right here for the genitive singular of Christiani, it would be of the Christians. Oh, sorry, Christian singular. Or the Christians. I don't know if I have room for that. I'll write it below. With the apostrophe S. And next we have the nominative plural. And in the nominative plural, it would just be the Christians, plural. So nominative plural would be the Christians. And just like we had in the nominative singular, it could also be said Christians. Because if we say something like Christians pray, we don't always have to say the Christians pray. We could just say Christians pray. So number 13, we have filio. And filio has the stem of fili with the ending of the long O. And we'll look over here to our second declension, us ending. And we see that O appears two times. It appears in the dative singular, as well as right here in the oblative singular. And for the dative singular, it says to or for the slave. Well, we don't have slave. We have filio, which is son. So we will write to or for the son. Next is the oblative singular. Oblative singular says by, with, from the slave. So we're going to write by, with, from the son. So by, with, or from the son. Lastly, we have servis. So servis has the stem of serv, and the ending is a long I, S. We look back to our second declension masculine with the us endings, and we are going to find that the is, the long is, is found twice also here, in this time the dative and the oblative plural. So we'll write dative plural and oblative plural. And in the dative plural, much like the singular, it is two or four, but we're going to do plural, so slaves instead of slave. 
So two or four the slaves. And then also with the ablative, much like the singular, this is by, with, from the, the slaves. So we will write by, with, or from the slaves. Hopefully that's helpful.